Hey guys, Ryan123 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a GUI button. I can't really credit it to one commenter because I've gotten this comment quite a bit throughout um, my time as a YouTuber, so I figured it might as well be time that um, I actually sit down and do this one. I've been kind of procrastinating it because it's kind of a long one, but anyways I'd love to help you guys with this one and I know some of these say shop GUI but we're actually doing a button today um, we can do a GUI later which we will but for today we're just doing the button so let's go ahead and jump into the video hey guys this is Ry123 here and today we are going to be making a shop button um, so you step on in it, it gives you a weapon or something. So first things first, you're going to want to get yourself a tycoon leaderboard, which you can, or a RPG leaderboard, or you can make your own. Um, you can get one from free models also. Um, but this is basically what it should look like. It should give you your leader stats. You don't really need this tycoon int value, but you can if you want. Just actually just leave it there. It'll be easier um, so that we don't have to mess with anything. Just leave all this the same, except this is what you will want your money to name to be like cash or... Um, money or dollars or whatever and then this is how much they start out with so I'm gonna give them yeah 100 so let's go ahead and back out of that next thing you're gonna need is a button so go ahead and make a button with a brick um, just whatever you want um, and then insert a humanoid and you're gonna want to group them together and name the button head so that you can name the model to be what you want so like this so you can put like by um, sword cost I don't know however you want to set that up for oops sorry bump my mouse one thousand dollars that's not how I set mine up but this is just for the tutorial then inside of the head button you're going to want a script and a screen GUI um, inside the screen GUI is just a simple text button here let me make it oh we won't be able to is it visible right now yes so basically you're just gonna want to make it stretch across somewhere on your screen or like have it be a little box somewhere just set it up like that okay now this is the let me zoom out this is the script it's kinda long um, probably should have looked at about trimming it down because I made this like a couple years ago so anyways um, I, as you can see probably why, I don't really want to type this out for you guys, so I'm just going to kind of go through it, and you guys can copy it down as we go through it. So first things first, obviously you're going to need a touched function, which you call right here. So you're going to want to start out by typing function on touch, blah, blah, hit enter, type end, and then type this. Next, you're going to want to come up here and make a human variable, which is where you find the humanoid. This is so that you can make sure that whatever's hitting the button is actually a player, because if it isn't a player, the button will break and not work for the rest of the game. And that's what this if human is not equal to nil, then. That just means if it is a player, then. So you're going to type that, hit enter, type end, and then in between you are going to disable the script so that only one person can use it at a time so it doesn't bug out um, you're gonna change the brick color to red so that other players know that it's in use um, and then I have a cost variable set up this is where you're going to want to set how much it is so I think we gave ourselves one hundred dollars so we're gonna make it worth one hundred dollars then this is just for me but it prints how much it costs um, just so that I can see that that's working but obviously no one in game will be able to see it next you're gonna want a weapon variable 
um, inside of lighting over here or I guess you can use where is it server storage I've never really used it before I've always just put stuff in dang my fingers bleeding oh uh, I've always just put stuff in lighting so oh we still have the scythe from our last video so we'll go ahead and give ourselves that so that variable is just going to find the weapon or whatever you are trying to give your player sorry um, did I completely skip this oh yeah I did <laughs> you're gonna want a player name variable just because it's easier that way just whatever hit it dot parent dot name that will get the name of the model that hit it um, then yeah see this is I don't even know why I have the player name I think that was just for debugging but anyways next you're gonna wanna get the player this will be inside of the player service this so that you can get the GUI and stuff and their leader stats so this gets the player you get the player from character hit dot parent um, and then you find their leader stats find first child leader stats um, local money equals and then this is where you find their currency so let me change that to our currency which is money <clears throat> um, so that we can you get the proper currency um, and then this prints how much money the player has um, this is the screen GUI and this is the text button inside the GUI so I go ahead and clone the screen GUI inside the button so that I can give it to each player that touches the button and then I set up a variable for the text button <coughs> then you're gonna say if the money that the player has, remember we set that up here, is greater than or equal to the cost, which is $100, then the money is subtracted from the cost, or the cost is subtracted from your total money value with this line here. So as you can see, the new money value is equal to the old money value minus the cost. Then you're going to clone the weapon, put it in the player's starter gear, and backpack if you don't the, oh, this is difficult to explain the starter gear is so that if the player dies they'll respawn with the weapon if you only want them to have it for one life delete this line and just use the backpack and you need the backpack line though or else the player will buy it and they won't get the weapon right off they would have to reset first but so you need both these lines unless you want to, them to only have it for one life then just delete the starter gear line next you're gonna want to make the GUI the screen GUI's parent the players GUI then we're gonna change the message text um, just so that kind of some information for the player you have bought a scythe for cost which is 100 and then you can say like money or dollars or gold or whatever this weapon hits 10 you can you don't have to have this line I just did it so that the player knows what the damage of the weapon they're picking up is then after purchasing this item you have money dot value um, money left just so that they know how much money they have left even though they can see it in the leaderboards anyways but again not necessary just helpful then you're going to just get rid of the screen GUI otherwise if they don't have enough money then the play the GUI gets cloned into the players GUI folder and it says you don't have enough money um, obviously and it just does nothing removes the GUI um, and ends this lastly you're going to re-enable the script by falsely disabling it and then change the brick color back to blue so that's how the script works um, I guess 
you can pause the video at any of the points where I was talking about the different things to copy down. Um, you guys can copy it, I don't mind. And let's go ahead and test it. So after you've copied the script, you can come up here and um, test your place solo. Um, I can't remember if you need to start a server for this store. Oh, nope. There's our GUI. So we're going to go ahead and buy the scythe. And as you can see, you have bought a scythe for 100. This weapon hits 10. Just like we told it to say, my GUI is kind of offset because we're in the studio. But anyways, that's how the basic button is supposed to work. Um, so anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Um, make sure you copy it down and try it out a couple times before you post in the comments about any problems you have. But I'd love to help you with any problems that are persisting for you because... I want to make sure that this works for you guys. Um, wow, that's been there for a while. But um, yeah, I'd, I'd love to see this um, work for you guys. So if you have any problems with it, please be sure to leave a comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel for more Roblox tutorials, Minecraft videos, anything. Um, I know this is kind of like I haven't done a video in a very long time, but... I'm going to try to increase my frequency again back up to at least a couple videos a week if not daily on sometimes um, depending on school schedule and such. But um, yeah and lastly be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed um, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.